Hey, James Wise with Holden Wise here today. In case for some reason you are living under a rock and have not heard, our boy, Cleveland's own LeBron James, has chosen to leave the Cleveland Cavaliers for a second time. LeBron's agency, Clutch Sports Group, released the following press release late last night. LeBron James, four-time NBA MVP, three-time NBA Finals MVP, 14-time NBA All-Star and two-time Olympic gold medalist, has agreed to a four-year, $154 million contract with the Los Angeles Lakers. It's cool, though. This is Cleveland. We are totally used to sports tragedy. We got the drive, the shot, the fumble. Decision 1.0, J.R. Smith forgetting what the score is in the NBA Finals. You know, I talked to J.R. Smith at a golf store one time in North Olmstead. I think he forgot that too. And now, decision 3.0. Naturally, people are wondering, and several people have asked me online, will LeBron's recent departure affect real estate prices in Cleveland? Will there be a real estate crash in Cleveland because of decision 3.0? Let's dive in. In short, no. As a Cleveland sports fan, does it suck that LeBron's leaving? Absolutely. Are the owners of bars and restaurants in the immediate vicinity of the Quicken Loans Arena gonna feel some heartburn because of this departure? Absolutely. Sales, you know, patronage, that's all gonna go down for those business owners. However, as a real estate investor in the Cleveland area, the good news is LeBron's departure has absolutely zero effect on the housing prices and housing demand here in the Cleveland market. Now, I don't want you to just take my word for it. Seeing as this is now the second time LeBron has left the Cleveland market, we can go ahead and look at some historical data to back up my claim that this will have zero effect on the housing market. As I'm sure you all remember, on July 8th, 2010, LeBron James went on national TV um, and one, aired the decision. The LeBron's on national television ripping the hearts of Cleveland sports fans out by telling the entire world that he's decided to take his talents to South Beach. The aftermath of the decision was a very, very tough moment for Cleveland. Admittedly, the fans, the residents of Cleveland, we were not taking that news very well. We had folks out there screaming, crying, people were burning jerseys. Everybody thought the wheels were going to fall off and Cleveland was going to collapse. But the data, the data shows that that did not actually happen. Cleveland is the largest city in Cuyahoga County. LeBron tells the world halfway through 2010 that he is leaving to go down to Miami. So one would expect that prices are gonna go down. However, the data tells us a completely different story. 2009, the year before the decision, the median sales price of all homes sold in Cuyahoga County was $84,300. The year LeBron announced that he was leaving, we ended up closing out that year with a median sales price of $94,000. That is a $10,000 increase after LeBron announced his decision to leave. Let's dig even deeper though. The stats I gave you, that was countywide. We have tons of suburbs and other cities, many other things going on. But the city of Cleveland itself, right there at the heart of this whole thing, surely they took a hit, right? All good there too. The year before he left, 2009, the median sales price of houses in Cleveland itself was $20,500. The year LeBron announced he was leaving, Cleveland itself closed out the year with the median sales price of $28,000, up $7,500 from the year before LeBron announced he was taking his talents to South Beach. The value of those homes took absolutely no hit city or countywide. But what about the number of homes sold? The volume of transactions happening here in Cleveland? Surely, without the national spotlight on Cleveland, the number of home sales is going to decrease. Nope, that didn't happen either. If you look at the data over the last 10 years, both county and citywide, we have consistent gains in prices and volume of homes sold. So whether LeBron is on the Cleveland Cavaliers, leaving to go to the Miami Heat, comes back to the Cleveland Cavaliers, or suits up to play ball for the Los Angeles Lakers, there will be zero effect on the housing prices in the city of Cleveland, Ohio. Well guys, I hope that answers your questions. 
For the rest of you that have questions, check out the other videos in the Ask James Y series. And if you don't see the question that you have, go ahead and post it to the comments of this video and I will make you a video just like this one answering your question.